Hey guys, and welcome back to the CYC channel. I'm Kathy, and today we'll be taking a deep dive into what we've done to get our second generation photon. We've taken some big leaps from the first generation, so be sure to stick around to the end as we'll be talking about upgrades, new features, and serviceability. All right then, let's start with one of the biggest changes, switching from an outrunner to an inrunner motor design. Now, why does this matter? With the Gen 1, we prioritize compact size, but the Gen 2 takes a different approach. In the Gen 1, we opted to use an outrunner motor for the significant gain in torque to size ratio, despite the drawback of difficulties in cooling and motor efficiency. Due to a small alteration in size, increased gear reduction ratio, and improved motor technology, we have managed to increase the overall system output torque and efficiency. The stator itself also has custom windings using flat wire instead of round wire to increase the coil density and overall efficiency. But we didn't stop there. We've completely potted the motor core with thermally conductive epoxy. This serves as a crucial part in helping to dampen vibrations for a quieter operation and also distributing heat evenly across the entire motor. This way, we are able to gain in cooling as well as by conducting heat directly to the outside. Now, let's talk about one of the most significant reliability upgrades, the completely redesigned sprat clutch. We heard loud and clear from our Gen 1 users that this was a pain point, especially for heavy loading and off-road use. So, for the Gen 2, we didn't just settle for small tweaks. First, we increased the clutch size from 12 by 20 millimeters to a massive 20 by 28 millimeters, tripling its torque capacity. But we didn't stop there. Thanks to the larger gear size in the first stage and an increased reduction ratio, we could accommodate this bigger sprat clutch. That's why we also reinforced the first stage shaft with a keyway and an adapter sleeve, increasing its diameter to securely fit the larger, more robust sprat clutch. The entire drive unit has been rethought for easier maintenance and parts replacement. Where Gen 1 required special tools and patience to service, the Gen 2 can be opened with just four M5 bolts. No more wrestling with glued in controllers. In order to access the four screws, you still need to remove the chainring along with the chainring adapter. The chainring adapter removal has also been made easier by radial screws preventing the retaining cap from over tightening with prolonged use. This makes removal and access to the torque sensor and motor internals a breeze. It also means that the controller can be replaced along with the torque sensor, motor, and first stage assembly, basically giving you access to all major internal components without requiring specialized tools. Now, let's talk about the electronic upgrades. We've moved from UART to CAN bus communication. I know some of you might be wary about that, given how some manufacturers use CAN bus to lock down their systems. However, we're using CAN bus for its technical advantages. The higher data rate gives us better real-time data, and it's far more resistant to electrical noise than UART. That means it's more stable. But critically, we're keeping our systems open, meaning that you're not compelled to purchase a CYC-branded battery pack. The Photon Gen 2 is also now compatible with up to 72-volt packs, ensuring that you get even more flexibility with your e-bike build. Because we sweat the details, We've redone the main wiring harness and display connectors. No more fighting with misaligned pins. Our new asymmetrical designs only go together one way. These might seem like small things, but anyone who's spent hours troubleshooting electrical gremlins will appreciate just how much frustration this eliminates. Finally, we've got some updates on the display options as well. Previously, we had the SW102 and DS103 displays. But for the Photon Gen 2 and all upcoming products from CYC, it will be paired with the SW102T version, which features new UI and a color screen. But more exciting than that is the launch of the Intuition display. Some of you may have already seen this display on some bike models out there, but now you can find it on the conversion models too. The Intuition display features a 2.1 inch high definition LCD display, featuring brand new UI, heart rate sensing, and comes with Find My capabilities so you can locate your bike in the event that it gets stolen or if your kids decide to take it for a spin. It does replace the DS103 display, 
but both the SW102T and Intuition displays are 36 volt to 72 volts compatible. At the end of the day, the Gen 2 isn't just a collection of spec sheet improvements. It has evolved into a system we've been dreaming of, and we couldn't have done it without the feedback from this amazing community. Every change from this massive sprag clutch to the open CAN bus implementation comes from real world riding experience. We're incredibly proud of what the system can do, and we think you're going to love it just as much as we do. Please be sure to leave us a comment if you guys have any questions for us and hit the subscribe button to show your support. If you'd like to find out any more information about CYC or our products, please go visit cycmotor.com. Cheers for now and see you in the next one.